there's like an ah moment once you yeah. realize it. Finally in theaters, movie we've been dying to talk with you guys about for ages. Celine Siama's follow up to Portrait of a Lady on Fire, Petite Maman. Petite Maman. I'm going to try to talk about this movie without crying because it is so <laughs> profound. And I just, when I watched it, it's only 72 minutes long, you guys. I cried for 72 minutes. <laughs> That's how deeply touching it is. So I want to talk about it, but I feel like I need to do it in a spoilery way. I think I think this is a this what you want to talk about is generally known. Like it's do in the you, trailer. It's I think it is. It's yes. the title. It's the title. <laughs> if you absolutely do not want to know anything else, then come back to us after you've seen the movie because you should right. see the movie. But we're gonna talk about it because you have to talk about it. Okay, so um, this is about a little girl named Nellie, identical twins, Josephine and Gabrielle Sands play Nellie and this little girl, Marion. Nellie has gone with her mom to her grandmother's house because the grandmother has died and they're all going there to go through her things and clean it out and, and close it up. And while Nellie is there, she goes wandering in the woods and she goes to the spot in the woods where her own mom used to go as a little girl to build a fort. And when she gets there, she sees a little girl who looks exactly like her and they become friends. And there's a fort. And there's a fort and they hit it off immediately. And it is the younger version of her mom. Is it amazing? Like the idea that, oh, you can meet your mom as like, is she like eight or nine years old? She's really little, right? Yeah, basically, she's about the, the age that the, the Nelly is. And so, yeah, it's this notion that like, you know, I think if you're a little kid, even even if you're older, the idea that your parents were ever your age is just like you can't begin to wrap your mind around it. And yet here is this little girl dealing with this family loss and, you know, her mother, especially dealing with the loss of her own mother. Now, you know, encountering her mom as a child. And it doesn't really get spelled out in any way. There's like an ah moment once you yeah. realize it, but they go back and forth to one another's houses, which is of course the same house, yes. but in different <laughs> timelines. Yes. So you know- Different wallpaper. <laughs> right? I was gonna say, you know which version of the house it is based on like the wallpaper in the kitchen, um, based on like, you know who is who based on sweaters. Yes, um, oh, such good sweaters. Right, really sweet. They look like they were like hand knitted little yes. cute cardigans. It's so cozy. Both these little girls are so good. You always know who's who. They are never precocious. No. It feels so real. For a movie that is just like this a delicate little fairy tale. It feels so real and so deeply profound in terms of its emotions. Um, and Celine, Sia Celine Siama to have done this after Portrait of Lady on Fire it's amazing because it's, it is as quiet and intimate and sweet as that is like intensely passionate and yes. romantic, like they're total extremes. But I, I saw an interview with her where she was talking about how this was always in her mind and she, she couldn't quite get to it. And so she went and made portrait of a lady on fire. And then like right afterward went into this and they shot it during COVID. So they shot it, like she wrote it in June and they were shooting by like September or October. It was all really fast. I'm, well, I, I, of twenty twenty. Right, but I'm trying when because oh right yeah sorry time is a flat circle. Totally. Yes, I, I saw this when it when at virtual Berlin in twenty twenty one. Yeah. So yes, they would have shot it in twenty twenty during COVID. Right. Yes. That right. all. That all. Adds totally. Up. And so um, it's Clermathon, her usual cinematographer shot it. It's all her usual crew. It's like her, mm. her usual editor and composer, and they've come together to make this beautiful little film you know all the same big sweeping muscular power of her previous film like they they use it on a much smaller scale but like no less affecting so yeah just the idea of being able to like ask your mom questions you know <laughs> how cool is that and so it's gentle and sweet and surprising unless you just watched all this review and we gave it away for you <laughs> But you know what? Look, as our friend April Wolf always likes to say, it's not about what happens in a movie, it's about how it yeah. happens. And so I think the way this story unfolds, whatever, how much, never, how, however much you know going in, there's still a lot to kind of glean here. It says so much about, you know, 
the children that become adults, the, how children inevitably wind up being like their own parents in one way or another, as whether or not they want to, they just do. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it is, it is, it is just, it is hauntingly delicate and spare, and it packs so much into that seventy-two minutes yeah. that you just feel like you've had this full, rich experience. Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting because like, you know, you've got everything everywhere right now, which I think is also a really great mother daughter story. Mm-hmm. And if you thought that movie is sort of too sprawling and bites off more than it can chew and, you know, doesn't, you know, do- doesn't keep all of its plates spinning. Here's a nice, concise movie that also explores that dynamic in a very completely aesthetically different way but i think to similar uh success that is a really good point that's a really good observation and good comparison because they do both have you know profound things to say about the whole mother daughter dynamic which can be so complicated but but you know young nelly then begins to appreciate her mother in a whole new light in a whole new way when she's in flux herself Mm -hmm. and uh it's really it's really sweet so i'm saying 10 i put it on my top 10 list last year I said 10. I also put it on my top 10 list last well, year. Where can folks see Petite Mama this weekend? Uh, Petite Mama, I believe, is is it just New York and Los Angeles this weekend? And it then is it's going to be expanding? Yeah, it's definitely going to be like expanding out week by week because um, our friends at the Belcourt Theater in Nashville are going to have it on May 6th. Gotcha. May 5th, whatever that weekend is. So um, they for sure it's going to be there, but it is extending out. So take a look near you because it's, it is a, it's a short little movie, but a great investment of your time. Absolutely. Go check it out.